Give it up for Jeff Judd. chicks in the house, which is good, so uh, I kind of go with this. I date this Mexican chick, and like Mexican girls are really feisty, and like they really like to fight all the time. So like we went to like a, uh, we're at a family reunion, you know, and of course, surprise, surprise, we get in a fight, like every different relationship. So she looks at me, you know, when she looks at me, she was like, I don't care what happens to you, Bendejo. No one in my family will ever talk to you again, I don't care if you die. <laughs> So, you know, as guys, like, I'm a one-upper, right? So I was like, oh, yeah? I was like, watch this shit, bitch. I saw, like, one of the little SA cousins, like, in the, uh, he's over in the swing, you know, and so I walked over to him, and I was like, uh, good day, mate. It's like, uh, when does the vote leave for America? Can you tell me that? And he looks at me, and he was like, no, no, no less, no less. I was like, 20 bucks says you do. He was like, make it 50 and I'll take you to the river. <laughs> I tell you what, man, like, uh, I just went back to school, and, uh, you guys can fucking clap for me. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about now. Probably go to class. But anyway, like, uh, um, so, uh, you know, I just transferred from, uh, JCC to U of L. Yeah! Go right? no JCC! Yeah! And, <laughs> community college, though. The very first day like, I had this communications class, and then we get in there. And the teacher, like, with our very first assignment, the very first day, she was like, hey, listen, your first assignment is just like to write down a list of things that you want to accomplish. Me being from JCC, I'm like, shit, this is where it's at. So we get in class the next day, you know, and uh, the first guy stands up there, and he was like, um, I'd like to find the cure for baldness. And I was like, that's pretty fucking good, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, that guy's pretty smart, right? <laughs> so the next guy gets up there and he was like, you don't like to snowboard down Mount Everest. Like, Shit! <laughs> that guy's pretty motivated, you know what I mean? So maybe I had just misunderstood the assignment because I had wrote down some realistic shit. It's like, uh, return those red box movies. <laughs> yeah. It's like, get my driver's license back. <laughs> Four DUIs, man. Like, I gotta fucking walk everywhere. And that fucking park is never on time. Let me tell you that. All right, I got a little dirty joke, and it's a quick one. It's my brother. My brother's in Iraq for the second time around, so let's give a little round of applause. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I told my brother that I would tell you guys this joke. So if you don't laugh, I'm gonna tell him when he's fucking crazy. All right, it goes like this. Um, how do you get a dog to stop pumping your leg? Pick him up and give him a blow job. Yeah. I knew y'all were sick. I knew y'all were sick. But very logical, because it would probably work if you tried it. I've never tried it, I'm just saying it may work because it makes sense. I can't believe you're laughing, they are some sick fuckers, man. I should have known that when I came in here, that would be a good 
joke. Alright, let's see. Um, any, uh, any weed smokers? Hell yeah! Right, thank you, it's about time. Like I asked that last time and everybody's like, hell yeah, no, because you're getting away from me into the show, man. Like everybody started to turn around and leave and I was like, fuck! But anyway, like, I smoke weed and, um, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I had this granny, and this is kind of, this is a very true story. It's, it's, like, I had this granny who's, like, 85 years old, and, like, she's got dementia. And, like, I go see her all the time. And, like, every time I go see her, like, today's the day that, like, she's going to be, like, Jeff, right? So I go see her the other day, and I walk in, and I got all excited. And I was like, granny, it's me, Jeff, it's me, Jeff, you know? And, of course, she's just sitting there, she's just going, you know, staring at the wall. You know what people are. So I was like, fuck this, man. Like, I'm supposed to go butt. Like, right in a nursing home. Like, I don't give a shit. So, uh, as soon as I let it just blow, man, my granny was like, Jeff! <laughs> I was like, oh shit, this is weird, right? She was like, hey, pop up pass, motherfucker. She was like, hey, here's your shirt to do for the nurse's back. <laughs> so, like, every time I go see her, man, you know, she ain't said a word to me, like I told you. And every time I go see her, now she's I was like, you got that weed? <laughs> and I was like, yes, and she's got Xanax in it. <laughs> Good night, bitch. <laughs> Fucking Granny's still in my weed, man, that's a little shit. What's up with that? 85 years old, I'm gonna smoke my blood. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess uh, my time's about up, but I'll tell you guys I got one more little, little thing. And this is like, like I hate people, like we all got smartphones, right? <laughs> Cell phones in general have call IDs. But I hate when people call me, and you guys probably know what I'm talking about, like with the wrong number, because you know like they start talking shit eventually, right? Because like we don't know the phone number for one. So like usually what I start doing, like after a while, like I just start talking shit right back, right? I swear to God, man, this guy calls me up there and he was like, hey man, he's a... Uh, Elizabeth. I was like, no, nah, you got the wrong number. Like, you know, no, no big deal, hung up on him, you know, and he calls me right back, you know, and he was like, uh, hey man, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, uh, yes, she is here. I was like, uh, she's in the shower. <laughs> and, uh, and she don't love me no more, man. <laughs> He's like, I know she's there. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, I followed you home from work today. I was like, you did? I was like, uh, I was like, what kind of car do I drive? He's like, you drive a red truck. I was like, I do drive a red truck, man, if you want a can of whoop ass. I was like, come on up to my front door and I'll handle my business with you right now, right? I, uh, I don't have a red truck. Like, uh, Escort, it's like uh, dark green. <laughs> Fuck this guy, right? He doesn't know that. <laughs> so anyway, like the phone rings right back, and you know, like I'm already fucking fuming. So I was like, listen, man. I was like, you better be my front door. I was like, because if you ain't, I'ma hop in my car. I'ma come find you. Truck, car. He drives. He thinks I drive a truck. It doesn't fucking matter at this point. And uh, I was like, when I find you, man, I was like, I'ma rip your arms off and I'ma shove them down your throat and be shit fingernails the rest of your life. To ride the grocery store, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk now. <laughs>